Quick pass to Garrett Wilson. Touchdown! What a throw! Aaron Rodgers to Garrett Wilson! I love you all. Rico, it's gone! Ready to take flight with the Jets, baby. Let's go! What is going on, Jets Nation? We got some breaking New York Jets news. The Jets have released Lincoln Tomlinson and free up $8.1 million. Courtesy of Jeremy Fowler of ESPN first on the report. Wow. The first shakeup of the roster comes on February 26th, the week of the NFL Draft Combine. Welcome to the show, whether you're watching. Oh, no. Okay. Hold on one second. We're changing the mic. I realize this mic isn't even plugged in. We're changing that real quick. Technical difficulties on my end, but it's all good because I know you guys can still hear me. Let me know in the chat right now what you feel about this move. Let me know right now, Jets fans, because this was expected by many, okay? This was a move that definitely had many people. They were definitely looking at this as good, right? I feel like Lincoln Tomlinson, the only thing you can say that he did good was stay healthy. I always applauded him. I always felt like Lincoln Tomlinson deserves some love just because of his ability to stay healthy. But outside of his ability to stay healthy, he was not a good football player. Okay? The Jets had one of the worst offensive And they had one of the worst. And Okay, we're finally through the mic now. Sorry for that, those technical difficulties. Now you guys can hear me through this microphone. I'm sure it sounds a little better. But I want to get your guys' thoughts because now I see Jets fans saying, we are free. Some people are, think everyone's saying this is a good move. Everyone's saying this is a good move. Okay. Now, the one thing that I go to immediately is, okay, the Jets have even another hole to fill on this offensive line. And I kind of was going into this offseason with the idea that the Jets' offensive line is going to be shaken up first by Lincoln Tomlinson being cut because the Jets need to figure out ways to improve. We don't want to just keep Lincoln Tomlinson around because he's just, you know, stays healthy. We need good players. But now the question is, who's going to be his replacement? We have another hole to fill on the offensive line. We are very intrigued by the offensive tackles in the first round for the New York Jets at number 10. But now... Is Elijah, the first thing I'm thinking of is Elijah Vera Tucker going back home to left guard. That's what I'm thinking. If I had to assume who's going to be left guard starting week one for the New York Jets, I might say it's Elijah Vera Tucker because Robert Salas said that he wants Elijah Vera Tucker to find a home and be there for good and not move him around because the last two times the Jets tried that, he got injured. I think that AVT is going to be the left guard. And then you got Joe Timmon at center. And then we have holes everywhere else, right? Everywhere else. We have two offensive linemen now on this team that are in the starting five. Joe Tittman, Elijah Vera Tucker. Two studs, by the way. Let me just let me just uh, make sure that's clear. Two studs, by the way, in Joe Tittman coming off a phenomenal rookie season, the best rookie center in the NFL last year. And then Elijah Vera Tucker, we all know how great and how talented he is, but unfortunately, he just has not been able to stay healthy. So I think the New York Jets are going to find those next three players across that offensive line via free agency and via the draft. Oh my God, King Cat. Are you kidding me? King Cat with a $100 super chat because of Lake Tomlinson. The Jets free up $8.1 million. Your boy gets a big time dono from King Cat. Everybody give my man King Cat some dono hype in the chat. New mic fund. Hey, this is a this is a brand new mic, but I wasn't plugged in. King Cat, you got me, man. King Cat, I can't thank you enough, bro. Um, a hundred dollars. Holy crap! Thank you so much, brother. This means a lot to me. This means a lot to the channel, and it means a lot to the business. 
All this money is going right back into what I do for you guys. Um, so really do appreciate that. Really do appreciate that. Shout out to King Cat in the chat for a $100 super chat. Everybody give my man King Cat some dono hype. Now, going back into Lake of Tomlinson, he's the left guard. Now he's gone. AVT, I think, is going to be the left guard. Joe Timmon at center. And I see people in the chat already saying, I want to put Joe Timmon at right guard. I don't understand that narrative personally. I think it's a little harder to find a center than it is to find a right guard. We have a center, a stud center, by the way, in Joe Tipman. Why do Jets fans want him to be right guard? Center's hard to find. Unless you re-sign Connor McGovern, he's the center. In my eyes, Joe Tipman should be the center, and he should be the center for the New York Jets for the next five to ten seasons. Right? We were spoiled with the greatness of Nick Mangold. I want to find our Nick, new Nick Mangold. We got him. His name's Joe Tipman. Why are we putting him? Why do, why do Jets fans want to put Joe Tipman at right guard? I don't understand that. It's harder to find a center than it is to find a right guard. And we have a center on the roster, a darn good center, by the way, who was graded as the best rookie center in the NFL last season. So I'm putting Joe Tipman at center. I'm putting Elijah Vera Tucker at left guard. You draft the left tackle at number 10, even though it's so hard to talk about that, honestly, because we could easily you know, get a left tackle in free agency, and then we're not even talking about getting a left tackle at number 10. Maybe we need a right tackle, and we draft Talisi Fuaga. Maybe that is the vision for these New York Jets. But now we have a hole at right guard, okay? I think the Jets should, their first priority in terms of, not, I don't want to say first priority, but when it comes to the offensive line, I think the New York Jets have to re-sign Connor McGovern. Connor McGovern came on a very team-friendly deal last year. Very, very team-friendly and he got injured. I think the Jets can get him back on another team-friendly deal, and he's a solid player. I don't want him to be a starter. I want that man for depth. I don't want Connor McGovern starting. I want him as depth, because he is a perfect piece to be at center and guard, and he's also a big, plays a big role in Joe Tittman's development. Joe Tittman really, in one of the interviews at the end of the year, I saw Joe Tittman give a lot of credit to Connor McGovern because he was someone that really put him underneath his wing, showed him the ropes of the NFL. And I think having Connor McGovern around is going to be beneficial for the depth of the team, for the veteran leadership in the locker room, and the overall development of Joe Tittman. So I definitely would love to retain him. It will be a very team friendly contract. Makai Becton is a pending free agent. Not a lot of people are expecting the Jets to retain Makai Becton, right? So, bro, King Cat. My man, <laughs> my man, King Cat, another $100 super chat, bro. Man, I love you. I love you. Trade back, get extra picks, draft Jackson, Powers, Johnson, and JC, and make my pipe dream a reality in prying JJ from the Vikings. Wow. Do you guys think this is what the New York Jets should do? What do you guys think of King Cat's um, scenario here? Woo! I mean, I kind of like it, not going to lie. It definitely involves Justin Jefferson, but Jackson Powers Johnson, the center from Oregon, you trade back, you grab him, and you get JC, and you get J Okay, well, King Cat, I'm all bored. I'm on board. I mean, how could we say no to King Cat with this super chat, ladies and gentlemen? How could we go? How could we go uh, wrong? Whatever King Cat says goes at this point, folks. With these super chats, whatever he says goes. That that's what I'm saying. But in the in uh, all jokes aside, I really think that this is a possibility. Like, would the Jets want to go after a center? like Jackson Powers Johnson to keep Joe Tippmann at right guard. Interesting stuff, guys. Let let King Cat know in the chat what you think of this hypothetical. What you think of this outlook of the New York Jets possibilities in the offseason. Let us know right now. King Cat, thank you so much for the generous generous super chat, bro. Um I mean, I don't know how we can get JC while getting, like, I don't know, if we trade back from 10, how are we able to get both JC and Jackson Powers Johnson? That's what I'm thinking about, but I don't know. Good, fun hypothetical, though. King Cat, appreciate it. 
Green Empire Lawn Care says, King Cat, what do you do for a living? I think that's a question we're all interested in for sure. <laughs> King Cat, thank you so much. Um, and Green Empire Lawn Care, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. Any super chat, no matter, no matter the amount, means a lot to the channel, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, so if you guys are just tuning in, guys, Lincoln Tomlinson has been released by the New York Jets and it frees up $8.1 million for the New York Jets to work with. And I think this is the beginning of a lot of moves, right? This is the first move of many. Um, so let me know in the chat how you feel about it. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way in, guys. We have over 200 people watching. Also, if you're new to Jets Media, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. We got a lot of Jets content coming your way all throughout the offseason. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video, every time I go live. The offseason is here. We're in. We're getting into the real offseason where the NFL Combine, you get a lot of moves like this. Releases around the NFL. You get speculation and more rumors about free agency. A lot of things are about to start, you know, creeping through the grapevines, if you will. And I'm going to be here covering it all on Jets Media. So make sure you guys subscribe if you're just tuning in for the first time. And shout out to the loyal fans that's watching right now on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. Appreciate every single one of you guys tuning in. So if you're just tuning into the show for the first time, we had some breaking news. The Jets have released Lincoln Tomlinson. What that does, frees up $8.1 million, and the New York Jets have an ability to you know, use that money to go after big-time names, okay? We saw the cap increase, and now the Jets have an extra $8 million of cash. King Cat, bro, what the? <laughs> He's a janitor. Okay. Well, King Cat, thank you so much, bro. Um, another super chat from King Cat. We asked him what he what he does for a living. He's a janitor. A two hundred dollar super chat. King Cat. I don't even know how to put in the words how much this means to me, bro. It's hard for me to kind of like say live right now how much this means, and I appreciate you for being this generous to me, bro. For being this generous to my platform and my YouTube channel, Jets Media, because these, this is what keeps me doing this for a living. This is what keeps me doing this for a living. I do this full time. So, King Cat, this is, this helps so much. And again, all this money is going right back into what I do for you guys. I appreciate you. I feel like, Man, I want to give some back, bro. This is ridiculous. Thank you so much, King Cat. I, I mean, I'm at a loss for words. I feel like I want to thank you for the rest of the show right now. Like, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Like, I, I feel like I need to talk about King Cat being a janitor for the rest of the night. Can't thank you enough, King Cat. Really, bro. Like, genuinely. Can you reach out to me? Like, DM me or email me? Like, I need to, like, I need to talk to you, King Cat. This, this is awesome. Thank you so much, bro. Charles, in my opinion, Richie, this is great news. Lincoln wasted time. A great member for 14 months. The great legend, Charles Gorman. Um, yeah, I think this is great news as well. We free up money. We get rid of a bad player. I mean, again, the only positive you can say about Lincoln Tomlinson is that he stayed healthy. That was it. It's a big positive, by the way, because nobody can stay healthy, especially in the offensive line. But that's the only positive you can take away from his game. So shout out. Shout out to the Jets for making this move. And thank you, Charles, for the generous, generous super chat. Let's go. Jamal, hey, Rich, how was your day? I am with the Jets on this move. Hopefully they give Tucker a chance. You watching the Knicks game. Wow, $300 was giving all together. King Cat, so nice of him. Very nice of King Cat. And I have the Knicks game on pause right now. I literally was sitting down to watch the Knicks game. I, the, it tipped off, and I saw the tweet from Jeremy Fowler. And shout out to Tyler, Wardy NYM. He's the one that breaks every single news to me, by the way. If it wasn't for my, my friend Wardy, if you guys don't know who Wardy NYM is, he is the number one Mets YouTuber, and he's also a great friend of mine, and he's a has a weekly spot on my Knicks YouTube channel. I swear, he somehow is tuned in like any no one else. Jets breaking news. He sees it in one second. He texts me it. I'm like, oh, thanks for letting me know. I need to go live right now. So I don't know what's going on for the Knicks right now. So don't spoil it, please. Big time, big time shout out again to King Cat. Have to give you another shout out, bro. Can't thank you enough, brother. 
Cannot thank you enough. Guys, let it, let me know in the chat how you're feeling about the New York Jets releasing Lakin Tomlinson, okay? We got over 153 people watching, and we got 71 likes. So don't forget, hit that like button on your way into the show. We appreciate you guys. Tune in. I feel like the the consensus about this trade, I'm mean, this trade, the consensus about this move is positive, right? I feel like the majority of people are uh, happy right now. Is there anybody that's not happy? Is there anybody like, what? Like a Thomason was actually a good player. Why do we get rid of him? I don't think that's the case. Now, again, I want to say my projected offensive line for next year. Dante on Twitter says, thank God, let's make more money. Let's make more money for a big wide receiver. Yes, sir. You know it, Dante. Justin Jefferson coming soon. I mean, can I just dream real quick? Did you guys see that Justin Jefferson Jets jersey swap, though, that I posted on my socials? Come on, I know you guys saw that. I know you saw my Justin Jefferson jersey swap that I posted on Instagram and Twitter. If you don't follow me on Instagram and Twitter, make sure you do, at NYJets underscore media. I know it's a pipe dream. I know Justin Jefferson's very unlikely, but it's still cool to see him in a Jets uniform. The dream, baby. What's wrong with dreaming? Shoot for the stars, baby. But the reality is, Jets fans should be happy about this move because we just freed up $8.1 million to play with. And I feel like we can get somebody that's better than Lincoln Tomlinson for that price of $8 million. Well, honestly, that's how I look at it. And now we got the NFL Draft Combine this week to get really excited about. I like it, baby. I like it. There's a lot of good offensive, interior offensive linemen in the draft that I like. Um, so I think the Jets, I think now what I want the Jets to do in the draft is trade down. Trade down. I feel like now the Jets have to be in a trade now mode. Henny, 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 Henny. Appreciate you, brother. Bye, Lincoln. Bye, Felicia. Hello, Justin. Nah, but if we, <laughs> hello, Justin. Nah, but if, if we somehow got him, we think we have haters now. Just wait, Richie. We all in 2024, baby. Bro, it is crazy. You think we got haters now? Deion Dawkins. What you gonna say, brother? Come on. Michael Clemens in his head. Michael Clemens lives in his head, bro. Appreciate the super chat. Oh my gosh. King Cat again, dog. These red super chats. I don't need anything in return, Richie. I have everything in life that I could ask for besides a Jets Super Bowl win. Appreciate your hard work. No, I don't have a crush on you. <laughs> oh my God. King Cat, brother. I, w I need to give some. Let me get some type of Jets. Free tickets to Jets Media Day this year. Can you accept that, King Cat? You are coming to Jets Media Day this year on me. Can you please accept that, King Cat? J if you don't know what Jets Media Day is, it's an annual event. We've done it two years in a row. We're coming on year number three. King Cat, you are coming to Jets Media Day. You want a plus one on me, okay? Let, just accept that. I need to meet you in person. I want to go be at a Jets game with you. And when the Jets win the Super Bowl, I want King Cat with me. Let me know. if I mean, we got months to this. I, I, I'm not announcing Jets Media Day 2024 until May. We got months to even sort out what game it is, King Cat. But please, I'm going to reach out to you. I'm going to, and you're coming on, you're coming to Jets Media Day on me, bro. You're coming, you're coming on me this year. Jets Media Day had a phenomenal debut year. It was the season again. It was the game against the Miami Dolphins when we when uh, Quinn Williams stiff armed Tyree Kill. We bl we blew them out forty to seventeen. And then this past year, unfortunately, Jets Media Day wasn't the best game. It was the game against the Patriots early in the season. Um, but the event was great. My man Hennessy was there. Can't wait to see Rodgers at Jets Media Day this year. Yeah, that definitely was a big lore to Jets Media Day last year was to see Aaron Rodgers together. And if you have no idea what Jets Media Day is, it's basically I uh, host an event at a Jets home game once a year, and, it, and you buy a ticket through me. It includes a lot. You get access to an all-inclusive tailgate hosted by Gotham City crew, and you get you know all-inclusive beer, liquor, alcohol, food, live DJ, and a custom-made Jets Media Day t-shirt, and we're all coming together and partying. I'm going to be live at the tailgate. You're going to be there watching it live in person. It's going to be a big event together. We all sit together watching the Jets game, and then the best part about it that I love is we all get access to the field 
after the game to hopefully party after a win. And uh, we've done that for two years in a row now. This is upcoming year number three. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So hopefully uh, you guys can make it. And those details will be released in May. Let's go. Now, if you guys are just tuning into the show and just realizing what the news is, hey, the Jets have released Lincoln Tomlinson. The Jets have released Lincoln Tomlinson. Richie, you a real one, brother. It's Snoopy. I appreciate you, my man. I appreciate you. Jorge, shout out Rich, though. Jorge, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, man. <clears throat> um, Now, I do... Braden, I really want Jackson Powers, Johnson, AVT, and Tittman as left guard and right guard, respectfully. That would be a mean interior, dog. That would mean a that would be a mean interior offensive line. We all love you, man. No matter we disagree with you or not. Well, I hope so. Because I cannot say I cannot agree with everybody. That would be impossible. It would be cool if that I could do that. Sometimes I try, but it's impossible. <laughs> I appreciate you, Snoopy. I think we freed that money for a tackle. Yeah, I mean, we also need a guard. I mean, listen, I love the prospect. The kid from Oregon, the center. But, like, I love Joe Tittman at center, bro. Am I, am I the only one that's like, we got our center. Let's go get some tackles and have ABT at left guard and then draft an interior offensive lineman later on the draft. I know, I know. We, we, we fall in love with the best center in the draft class every year. It's, that, it's true. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button for your boy. We greatly appreciate that, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The Jets make their first big move of the offseason. Rookie offensive lineman struggle. That is true. Tittman did not struggle as a rookie, which is great to hear. But it is true. We don't want to rely on rookies all across the offensive line. This is what I'm saying, Mike. Couldn't agree more. Tittman is the center and AVT is a left guard. If I, I'm predicting right now the starting offensive lineman for the New York Jets in week number one includes Joe Tittman at center and Elijah Vera Tucker at left guard. That's that. Now, and then we have three holes to fill. Left, left tackle, right tackle, right guard, which is terribly sad if you think about it. How do we not have at least one tackle? <laughs> I mean, it's Mekhi Becton. He should be the left tackle right now. Let's be honest with ourselves. Makai Becton should be getting a big contract and be our franchise left tackle right now. And the reason why he's not is because he didn't stay healthy or play well enough to deserve that. My point is, when we drafted Makai, he was supposed to be the guy, the franchise left tackle forever. But he did not. He's not. So now here we are. We're back to square one. We don't have any tackles on this damn team. Not one. Carter Warren, I like him. Max Mitchell, I like him, but they're both backups. I don't like either of them as starters. So I like the depth at tackle. I think Carter Warren can be a solid swing tackle. I think Max Mitchell could be a solid swing tackle, preferably a right tackle, and Carter Warren at left tackle. The depth isn't terribly bad, but we don't have starters. Okay? We need starters. So let's get the starters. Love you, Richie. What do you think is going to be a big move this offseason? And I got something big coming for you soon, too. Oh, man, Dimichi. <laughs> Dimichi, I love you, bro. I don't know what you mean by that. But, um, I think the big move this offseason is going to be for a huge receiver. Like a Mike Evans, like a Dawson Jefferson, a Brandon Ayuk. I think Joe, they're going to be aggressive, bro. This is going to be the most aggressive we've seen the New York Jets in our lives. That's my thing. That's at least what I think. Carter Warren, not a starter, but I think he has potential to be a swing tackle. Absolutely, Dan. Could not agree more. I like Carter Warren. I like Carter Warren as a swing, like you said, as a backup. Not, not a starter, for sure. I definitely need to party with you, Richie. We Muppets go hard. Damn, we got Oscar the Grouch wanting to party with Richie. All right, I'll host it. Pull up to Jets Media Day 2024. <laughs> oh, God. You guys are killing me tonight. I love this. I love this, man. Shout out to Jets Nation. Shout out to you guys. Um, it, it's always fun going live, man. It's always fun going live with you. Man. Man. 
Um, Tip did struggle midseason. NFL knows. Yeah, I mean, if a rookie didn't struggle at all, I'd be like, what? Like, of course, a rookie in the second round is going to have some games where he struggles. So this saves us $8.1 million in cap, according to Jeremy Fowler. Around that number. may not be exact, but definitely around that number. That's what we are saving. So definitely, definitely keep in mind. So I want you guys to predict the offensive line, the starting five offensive line for the New York Jets for the 2024 season. Give me a hypothetical in the chat right now. Who's left tackle all the way to right tackle? Let me know in the chat, and then we're going to go through each one and grade which one's the best. Which one's the best? Now, as you guys all make your hypothetical offensive line for the 2024 season, make sure you put some thought into it. Include trades, include free agents, include draft, include everything. We're going to hear a word from the sponsor of Jets Media. You guys know them very well. Man to sleep. And then we're going to get into the live chat. As you all know, we've had a proud sponsor of Jets Media for quite some time now, and they happen to be Manta Sleep. Now, if you guys want to use my promo code JETS, you will get a 10% discount code. That link is down below in the description. Now, you might be wondering, what is Manta Sleep? If you guys have any struggles with sleeping, I cannot highly recommend more the Manta Sleep Pro Mask. Now, I've been using this since they became sponsors on the channel a months ago, months ago, and I literally wear this exact sleep mask every single night before sleep. Again, guys, this is what you got to invest in if you're having any difficulty with sleep. It is the most advanced sleep mask on the market, and I promise you, you will not regret getting your sleep mask. It absolutely takes out the light, 100% blackout, zero eye pressure technology, so when you put it on, you can open your eyes, but really, my favorite part about it is it completely turns out the light. So even if you want to put it on for a midday nap, or even you don't even want to take a rest, you just want to put the sleep mask on, even meditate, it's a really mindful practice, and I cannot recommend them more to you guys. They have a lot of different masks on their website. This happens to be the Pro Mask, which I personally recommend. It's what I use, but don't forget, use that link down below in the description, 10% off discount code. They have a Bluetooth mask if you want to listen to music. They got a silk mask. They got ones for kids. They got a weighted mask. They got a cool mask. Definitely check out their website. Can I recommend them more? Thank you, Manta Sleep, for being a proud sponsor of Jets Media. Shout out to Manta Sleep, baby. Definitely get those sleep masks, folks. Folks, cannot recommend them more. Promise you, you will not want to miss out. And I'm saying that genuinely. I wear this sleep mask every night, and when I nap, when I travel, cannot recommend them more. Let's get into the chat because you guys are giving me some hypotheticals. Smith, AVT, Tipman, Hunt, a one new trade 13 for JJ Tess. Oh my gosh. I love this one, Mike. You mean trade 10? Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I don't know what you meant. I like that. I like that. David Bakhtiari, AVT, Titman, Becton, and, and Guard. I don't know how to feel about David Bakhtiari. Do you guys want David Bakhtiari? See, look. Look, this is a Dolphins fan. I'm Dolphins. My my brain, I'm sorry. Packers fan, tr take Bakhtiari. He's super durable and affordable. See, I know he's like, this is sarcasm. <laughs> so, I don't know. Do you guys want the Jets to get David Bakhtiari? I don't know if that's someone I kind of want. As a backup, 100%, bro. Bring me David Bakhtiari as a backup any day. Bakhtiari, AVT, Powers Johnson, Tippy Fuaga. Now, that is an offensive line. That right there wins. But uh, how the heck do you do that? You're not getting Powers Johnson and Talisi Fuaga. You're not doing that. We don't, have, we don't have the capital for that. So this is awesome, but it's not realistic. I don't know. Bakhtiari is a backup. Wow. If you're a GM and you are on the hot seat, are you going to draft a bunch of rookies to get you to the playoffs or veterans? Great point. Now, the, the Jets do love their, their rookies, but he does got a point here. Did the Jets package their draft picks for this season to go after veterans? Which is why, if somebody becomes available, I think the Jets are going to be very active in the trade market. Don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button for your boy. We greatly appreciate you guys. 
tuning in. If you're just tuning in for the first time, we have breaking news. The New York Jets have released Lake and Tomlinson. It frees up $8.1 million in cap space. Definitely share your thoughts in the chat. Smith, AVT, Tip, Zeitler, Williams, go all in in free agency. I like that, Owen. I like that, Owen. I can get I can get behind that for sure. Shout out to Ryan, Jets Talk 24-7. You guys know him very well. I'm reading his tweet. He says, $8.1 million from Lincoln, $10 million unexpected cap raise, total $18.1 million. Bryce Huff franchise tag is 21.3 mil. Just saying. So Ryan, Jets Talk 24-7 is speculating that this is going to help the Jets maybe put the franchise tag on Bryce Huff. Interesting. Are the Jets making these moves to franchise Huff? Let me get your... Would you rather the Jets let Bryce Huff walk or use that money on offense? That's an interesting debate. That is a very interesting debate. Hit the like button. Let's go. So Lincoln Tomlinson, again, the only positive that he had was staying healthy. No franchise Huff. We can't afford Huff and bring in top-tier free agents on the line. That is very true. That's what I'm saying. Lloyd Cushenberry. Joe Alt, AVT, Titman, Cleveland, Mims. I like that. Sign Huff, please. No excuses with the jump in cap space. Sign Huff. Yeah. Interesting. Put Timmon at right guard. Am I the only one that does not want to put Timmon at right guard? Now, I, I know that he plays exceptionally well at right guard, and he had phenomenal film as a rookie at right guard. That's not my point here. But, like, my idea of Joe Titman is just I want a franchise center. I know he's versatile, I know he can do many things. But give me Joe Tittman at center and find a right guard in the draft. You feel me? Or free agency. Put AVT at left guard. Put Joe Tittman at center. It's his natural position, folks. Yeah, Oscar agrees. Lee Tittman at center. It's his natural position. He is, he's good, but like, I don't want the Jets to like, make this such a musical chairs type of experience. They're trying to find AVT, their, his home. Now let's give Joe Tittman his home and let's him, let, him, let him just work on the craft of being a center and let him be the franchise center for the New York Jets. Getting a center is hard. And a center is such an important position. Like, I'd rather have Tittman play center and develop and learn that position because the center spot is one of the most important spots of the entire offensive line because that's the line of defense that is the captain of the offensive line that's communicating that has a good repertoire with the quarterback that is obviously has to snap well i mean it's more about like calling out the defense and getting everybody on, on in, in sync and like i'd rather have joe titman entering year number two having the entire otas in training camp as the center take center reps like all throughout training camp and be the guy in year number two starting center so he's the starting center forever like I, I like I, I I get the idea that he's you know versatile, but so is ABT, and I want ABT to play one spot. I want Titman to play one spot. Stop shuffling around. Let's let them dominate. And of course, if injuries start happening, then that's when they're going to have to move around. That's the worst case scenario. But I feel like a big reason why the New York Jets offensive line has been so bad recently is that they're making these players learn every position, and instead of them focusing on one position and perfecting their craft at one, they're spreading their talent across all of them, and they're not able to focus their fundamentals because switching positions is not as easy as people think, right? Going from right tackle to left tackle, it's the same fundamentals, but it's just your brain has to flip. Kicking inside a guard, I mean, it's, it's different. Center to guard. I'd rather have both of our young studs, AVT at left guard, Tim in at center and let them figure themselves out there. That's at least my perspective. Loco Joe says, number 10, pick a left tackle. ABT at left guard. Tim in at center. Free agent or draft pick at right guard. Beckton if we keep him or free agent at right tackle. If we can bring back Makai for a bargain, what, how would you guys feel if the Jets brought back Makai Beckton on like a one-year prove-a-deal? What if you we had breaking news? The Jets signed Makai Beckton to a one-year 
like eight million, like this exact contract, eight million. I don't know. People are going to say absolutely not. He did not play good. He did not play well last year. I kind of know the answer, but I am curious. Preach, brother. Stop moving out the. Yes, let's stop doing that. Let's keep the offensive line intact and at the same positions. No thanks unless it's like three mil or less. Yeah, I think it's that's no, nah, it's not gonna happen. Beckton is gonna have a team out there to give him a a big, a big contract. Not, not, I don't think he's getting like a four year like mega deal. But I think there's going to be a team out there that takes a flyer on him, like a two-year, $18 million contract I can see Makai getting. Not by the Jets, but a team elsewhere or something like that. So I think he's gone. Interesting conversations. Interesting conversations. So, folks, we're going to be live all throughout the week. It's NFL Draft Combine Week. Appreciate each and every one of you guys tuning in. I got a I got a Knicks game to watch, so I'm going to wrap up the show here, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. King Cat, if you're still watching this, brother, like, thank you so much, man. I mean, you just absolutely blew up my Super Chats tonight. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. It really, really does mean a lot to my business and my personal brand here at Jets Media. Thank you all for tuning in. Breaking news, Lincoln Tomlinson is released. When I end the show, guys, comment your thoughts when the stream's wrapped up down below of your initial reaction and your thoughts of Lincoln Tomlinson being released. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's go Jets. Hit that like button on your way out and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later. Dimichi, love you, bro. Mike, the stack guy, love you, bro. Love you all in the chat, man. Peace and love. Richie's out. Enjoy your Monday night. Later. White Sox Jet, peace out. And everybody else, Jason, peace out. Azuma, peace out. Everybody in the chat, peace out. Salute. Jason, peace.